as voted on by you, the next team we will be using is... Now, the voting on this was really tight. It came down to New Mexico State and Tulane. And really, really tight voting. Uh, I actually put out a post because I can do that kind of stuff now, just sort of like trying to get a couple more votes, and that made it even tighter of a vote. But at the end, New Mexico State wins. I mean, if you want to see how tight, here's here. I actually made a pie chart. I haven't done one of those in like 20 years. I hope it's right. This is the team I wanted you guys to pick. Out of all of the available options, I mean, you know, like FAU kind of would have been interesting for me to do, you know. I saw a vote for UCLA. And I think, I don't know, the, the better teams make it less interesting. Same thing like there was a vote for Florida. I don't know. That's one year and I'm out. But this is the worst team here. This might be the team that actually stretches the full five years. Now, they are a better overall team than what we started with was UMass to begin the relegation league. But this team is pretty much completely devoid of talent except for two players. Now, the first player we're going to talk about is our man, Matt Smith. Now, it was suggested in one of the comments that because Hayes had won the Heisman with Kansas, he was going to be a 99 overall player, meaning Matt Smith was never going to start again. That was it. He was done in Kansas, so I should bring him. What I said was if we got a school picked who had either a junior or a sophomore who had already been redshirted, so same age, then we would make them Matt Smith. Now, the face doesn't match because... NCAA, it's not always in line. It sort of goes by height and weight. So we have Matt Smith, but even though he's a sophomore redshirt, we can't use him this year. Pretend he's just redshirted this season. Now, because he's actually an eligible player, there's a chance he just declares for the draft. And if he does that, we'll try and talk him into staying. There's also a chance he tries to transfer out of here. I don't know how high it is when you're going into your junior year, but there's a chance that he actually tries to do that. I don't think he will, but if he does, then that just means it wasn't meant to be, but either way, he's obviously our best player, 97 overall, and we can't use him this year. The other weird one, and I've got him on a red shirt, we've got Derek McMahon here, 77 overall, true freshman halfback, 92 speed, 91 excel. How did New Mexico State just randomly get this guy? I don't know how they got him when you've got like... This down here is more in line with the rest of the roster. So we have two players that we can build around. I mean, Matt Smith, we only got for a couple years. But at least McMahon will redshirt him and he'll be here for the rest of the dynasty. So at least halfbacks all set. If you look at the rest of the roster, we got Vinay, who's going to be starting for us this year. Or Vaney. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Vinay. Uh, he is not draft eligible. He's not even 200 pounds. I would change that, but I'm not going to be too concerned. Uh, and otherwise, I mean, yeah, okay, Blake Gray. They're also slow. Like, slow as crap. It's not anything I really want to mess with. So none of these guys are going to be the long-term solution behind Matt Smith. We're going to have to, you know, grit and bear it this year and try and find a quarterback. Wide receiver, hey, these guys are good, but senior, senior. This guy's a junior who I gave a red shirt. Senior. This guy's a freshman, so we're going to build around the 83 speed wide receiver with 78 excel so no nothing at wide receiver tight end they forgot they like they just forgot they were supposed to get tight ends it looks like these are both walk-ons well this guy's a walk-on this guy looks like he was a walk-on and they redshirted him or just a terrible prospect the offensive line all right 73 i can kind of work with 65 behind him you know it's not the worst 69 overall left guard he might be the second best prospect on this school so these guys are both catching red shirts, and maybe, maybe that's something, you know. They got a lot of centers, but nothing really too flashy. 78 senior, another 66 freshman back here. Like, it's, there is no position except for running back that I should skip on because I have potential somewhere. I mean, 70 overall right end. All right, that's not too bad. But again, nothing to write home about. So this team is trash this guy's actually pretty impressive 90 speed 93 excel left outside linebacker he's catching a red shirt and then i'm gonna move him in the middle next year and we'll use him a little bit but it, i just don't expect anything good 
the first year of UMass, and we weren't using the sliders that we're using now, it was, I said it early on, the whole point of this is to try and get promoted, and it's a quick rebuild. It's not supposed to stretch and stretch for months and months. So if we fall to 0 and 6, like out of bowl eligibility, if that happens, then we're just going to simulate the rest of the season and just jump right into the next, you know, the off season. So if we're out of contention for getting promoted, we'll still stick around. But if once we're out of bowl eligibility, there's going to be no point in going forward. We're just going to skip the rest of the season because it doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, there's a couple guys here who are pretty good. You know, this one's actually not bad. 76 redshirted sophomore. That's... That's all right, you know, there, there's a couple guys, 66 overall, who transferred in, cool. But there's not really a lot going on here. Uh, the, the kicker and punter are pretty decent, so I guess I can skip uh, kicker this year. As far as the schedule, yeah, we got FCS West. The way it works, for anyone who doesn't know how the bowl eligibility works, because I know a lot of people get mad at YouTube, you have to have... A 500 record but on top of that sometimes a team will get in without quite a 500 record you cannot win more games than you lose if one of those wins is an FCS school so if we go six and six but one of those wins is FCS West we're not gonna be bowl eligible even though we have six wins it doesn't count because we lost six games against FBS opponents so that's why I don't really mess around with FCS that much. Unless, you know, certain situations here and there. Like if I have to tune up or something. It's not worth getting the win. Because we won't be... If we go 6-6 six and six this year, which would be incredible if we could, we won't be able to go to a bowl game. You know, otherwise we're at Cal. They're in the Mountain West. You know, I scheduled at Kansas and at UMass. I figure these are the two teams that we built before. Let's just get this sort of, like, see how we are starting off before, you know, I mean, that'll be a quick episode. You know, UCLA, New Mexico, Colorado State, Utah is actually pretty bad. I know they are in real life a good program, but in the game they're pretty bad right now. Washington State, Utah State. I don't know why I got Vanderbilt on here. I think I just needed someone, and then at BYU at the end. So, the Mountain West is pretty good. We got a C strength of schedule, even with an FCS school here. That's not too bad. The recruiting board, it's nothing too impressive. I just went after people where we're one of their top three schools on the initial board. And I, I, I think the best player, there might be like a 72. And also, I can't fully scout people. I forgot that I put, you know, the coach level to just start at one in this. So they're not even, they're only 25% scouted. I have no idea what's going on. Red shirt, I just red shirt anyone who's good. Uh, and this season might be a wash. So I'll go over the full recruiting board probably in the next episode, but for now, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, we're just going to jump into this first game against FCS. All right, now, New Mexico State has just a standard spread playbook, so something I'm very familiar with. I did not change any of the audibles yet. I'll get around to that later. Let's test them on that. That was terrible. I shouldn't have thrown that ball. Oh, I'm remembering what I did with the playbook now. So it's not Vinay starting, it's Gray. Uh, because he's a true sophomore, Vinay is a redshirted sophomore. I went with younger guys wherever I could. Wow. Uh, maybe I should have gone with the more experienced one. My thinking was they're going to get more of a boost to their awareness, so maybe they have a chance to be good at some point. Probably not, but that was my mindset. Ooh. If, oh, if Denman could have made that guy miss, that would have been a first down. All right, three and out where we didn't gain a single yard. Good start. If we have any chance this season, we need the secondary to carry us. Woo! I could have probably gone for a pick on the first play. They have a halfback named Lumpkin. I want him on my team. All right, well... They got seven. They have more yards than us now. Their quarterback is named Bradshaw. Is he, like, a descendant of Terry Bradshaw? Should I be threatened here? No, it's Lumpkin eating us up. Oh, my God, it's Lumpkin definitely eating us up. Just a reminder, we don't play on J-Kid sliders on this dynasty because it's supposed to be more of a speed thing. Uh, the sliders are down in the comments section. It's hard to describe them. I just call them the Operation Sports Forum Sim Sliders. So it's a little easier on us, but still not like a cakewalk. 
it's still harder than if I had 50-50 sliders. So it's still somewhat of a challenge. It's not as challenging as it could be. But see, stuff like that still happens. Oh, well, he dropped it. Okay. I thought we were about to give him a touchdown right there. Oh, forced the drop. Good job. Yeah, I let him have that. Mostly because he was faster than me and I couldn't actually defend him. All right, they missed the field goal. Uh, so, just staying in a scoreless tie. Ooh, they got the blitz coming. I gotta see if it works. I just gotta see. It probably doesn't. Oh my god. We'll go 0-12 this year and then win the conference next season simply because we're gonna have Matt Smith. Oh, there's a good screen pass. Our first positive yards of the day. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice play. 11 yards on that one. Have I figured this out? I'm gonna, oh, I was going to try a scramble. Never mind. Harris got open. He's an impact player? Who the hell are you? All right. First run play of the day actually goes for six. That's pretty good. Uh, his acceleration is crap, though. Might as well go for this read option. Oh, good. The 59-speed quarterback keeps it. And trucks a guy to pick up the first. That's what I get for judging. So I had to spend a lot of time looking at the New Mexico State Stadium, which is Aggie Memorial Stadium, by the way. And I was trying to find it for the intro. I always use, a, you know, the actual stadium shot, a real-life one. And I can say that the back of that end zone right there looks like shit. You know, it's not the worst stadium in the world. I kind of like it. You know, something small, I kind of like it. I just wish they had properly modeled that. Okay. Come on, Ward. No, I'll throw it to whoever's going to... Uh, he goes down injured. All right, well. I was going to say, I'll throw it to whoever catches it. That's all he's good for, though. That's it. Bye. Back corner of the end zone. Curry catches it. Accurate pass. I didn't think we would, but we're going to take a lead. First touchdown of the new relegation team. <laughs> the triple option. He juked all of us out by getting stuck on his offensive lineman. Ooh, nice diving catch. All right. So their receivers are more impressive than ours. And their running back is better than ours. Come on, Thompson. Yeah, successfully wrapping him up as he picks up the first down. Oh, crap. Like I said earlier, the FCS schools don't actually benefit us in anything. It's not like we're picking up a free win. I only do it if I feel like there's a point. And right now the point is, is this team so bad that we're going to struggle against an FCS school? And so far the answer is yes. Oh my god, I didn't even see him there. They only pick up five though. They missed another field goal. I mean, that one was a pretty long one. They were on the 38. All right, this is an interesting one. PA verticals. So we're going to fake forward. No one bit. Salas with the pick. I thought I could toss it over his head. I think I forgot who my quarterback was for a second. All right, here comes that triple option. No, it's a play action. Um, 42. We, we, have some, we, have, we have discussions to have. I can't tell if that was the game, like, just triggering an animation so he got the completion even though he wasn't supposed to be able to. Or, like, maybe he's just got pretty good acceleration and uh, tie ball game. There's a penalty, but we, yeah, we jumped offside. They're going to decline that and take the touchdown. Ooh, some good blocks on the return this time. Take it almost to midfield. Oh, my God. I, uh, I thought he had more of a step. That's two straight passes for picks. Hmm. I might have to put in Vinay. No, Gray has a better arm. All right, this is, they're both terrible, and I need to not... <laughs> I just need to make better decisions. All right, taken down for a sec. Defense is starting to step up. 
And, okay, well, they picked up nine, but they needed more than that. All right, take a timeout. We'll try and get another score. Or just positive play, maybe. Okay, um... I didn't see Dean standing there that time. Okay, so here's the culture shock. Um... When was the last time I recorded a series with a crap quarterback? It was the first season of BlackRock. That was in May. It's been a while for me. Even with Kansas, we started off with a pretty good quarterback. So, uh... I'm not used to having to adjust for that. Like, I'm used to having a little more arm strength and stuff like that. So... <sighs> Anyone who's been a viewer on the channel for a while, you're talking way back in the North Texas days. This is just the kind of crap I used to pull all the time. Now I'm starting to understand why. I'm still good at this game, man. There's not, there's not this team. This team's crap. We're better than FCS, but by like three points. There we go. All right. Off the schneid. Let's go. Put that inside, pick up that block, look at this screen, take that, okay, that spin wasn't the right call. Oh, there we go, alright, so we're just gonna pass the ball to the running back the whole time. Alright, I'm not sure how far into the Black Rock season we are right now, I already recorded the whole thing, and I know you guys have only seen like a few episodes. I don't know if Butterbean has made an appearance yet, he pops up a couple of times, he's our third string quarterback, and he's got 83 throw power, 83 throw accuracy, and I don't let him throw the ball ever, because he's terrible. He'd be the best quarterback on the roster right now. Alright, nice 13-yarder by Young. Well, that blitz came, some block set up, Denman in for a touchdown. Even despite my three picks, tying it back up. I've played like crap, and we're going into halftime in a 14-14 tie with FCS. Alright, again, because every episode's a double header, I super sim this first drop, big plays, and they went in for a touchdown. So, defense not holding up anymore. Oh, this episode will still be a double header. This, if you see a runtime of 32 minutes, now you understand why. Because if we gotta play a sweaty against FCS, we'll probably get blown out by Cal, so I'm not too worried about that, that game going very long. Ooh, that's another nice screen pass. Come on, Denman. Right. Okay, can't break the one tackle. There, the Z spot finally worked. He fumbled it, but it went right out of bounds. Ooh, Gray broke off tackle. Get out of bounds, bud. He's probably... Oh, he didn't go down injured. Okay, I thought he was. Quarterback is slower than Tom Brady, but still putting in work on the ground. See? Oh, well, never mind. Shut down right there. Oh, my God. Great zone coverage by those guys. Didn't even flinch watching them run across. All right. Tie ball game again. And I'm going to let the computer handle defense one more time. All right. Defense got him into a three and out. So we're good. Um... Did I just throw an interception? No, he's a linebacker. You know, at least we're not blowing tackles today. All right, nice option play. Oh, I, I had good coverage on that, and I went for the tackle too soon. I got excited. Oh, they, that worked. I'm like, let me just bounce this out real quick. They all just ran into the pile. There we go. Harris getting a nice snag. Oh, the face mask at the end, too. Oh, damn. Take it down for our first sack today. Oh, my God. 
That was the most beautiful throw on the run I think I have seen in the history of the channel. And it came from this team. From that quarterback. That was gorgeous. Oh, great blocks. Oh my god, Curry with a second touchdown pass today. I don't know if he's any good, but... Hey, his stats will look great. Oh, great coverage. Good job. It's 42 again. He's taken off. Uh, it worked really well for him. Oh, and it hasn't affected the game at all, but I did not put any adjustments in today. And I think for this iteration, I'm just not going to do adjustments. Outside of, like, I will put conservative catch and ball carry on in, like, the rain and snow. But otherwise, no conservative catch, no conservative tackle. Just, it seems like that breaks the game a little too much. So I'm going to try it during, you know, this iteration of the relegation league and see how much of a mistake that is. They're in field goal range, but they're not chewing clock. So that's good, because that's what I'd be doing if I was in their situation. Uh, or they can just go for the touchdown, I guess. That, that's cool. Do I start taking timeouts? I'm gonna start taking timeouts. Ah, well, it's a good thing I took that timeout. Alright, I was gonna go for the touchdown and then go for two, because I didn't feel like playing overtime, because this episode's already too long. But they went ahead and missed the extra point for us, so I don't even have to worry about that. Oh my god, that worked. I'm like, eh, let me just throw one downfield. He underthrew it finally. <laughs> okay. Okay, he missed him by like 30 yards. Alright, fourth and ten for the game. Okay, wow, I had square wide open. And he missed him. And I think that's it. All right, we got him for another TFL, uh, and we're going to get the ball with, like, four seconds left. I mean, I've won the game with a return touchdown before in the last second, so, like, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Okay, well, not with this kick returner, apparently. I mean, it's not the first time I've lost to an FCS school in the relegation league, and it probably won't be the last. All right, final stats. Gray goes 19 of 35, 244 yards, four touchdowns, four picks, but only took one sack. Rushing 26 yards on the ground for him. Denman with 21. Brown had one for seven on a triple option. Receiving Denman, six for 53 and a touchdown. Young at five for 90. Harris, three for 28. Curry, two for 20 and two touchdowns. Howard led the team with seven tackles today. Duncan with six. Two TFLs for Howard, including the only sack. Tate, Thompson, and Smith all getting the other three. All right, well, that was bad. But, uh, this is gonna be worse. Alrighty. Cal's an 84 overall school, so this might go very badly. I mean, it, it probably will. Ooh, nice run, though. It's raining, so I did put conservative catch and conservative carry on. Those are the only adjustments. And again, weather is the only time I will make them. Alright, looks like we, uh, we've never usually been able to run the ball in a relegation league. Is New Mexico State the time when it's finally going to happen? That was a real nice snag. Accurate pass, too. What? Did Gray, did he, like, learn something in between games? Oh, well, the offensive line didn't. Yeah, right, it's all falling apart now. We tried, though. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Denman with a great catch. Borderline moss that away from the safety. That was the worst read option of all time. Well, okay, worst is the wrong word. Slowest read option of all time. And there's that throw on the run I was expecting last game. Well, we took the lead. Nope. Oh, that was actually great on that. 
He broke off one tackle, but still doesn't pick up anything. Also, why is Texas State up by two touchdowns over Michigan down there? And he missed another one. How did the defense just force down the punt? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I believe we're still like 20 yards out of field goal range. So, uh... Oh, I thought we had it. I saw X breaking open. Did not realize the blitz was getting there. Uh-oh. We had him pinned to the three, but their running back is a uh, monster. Oh, my God. This guy is 0-5 passing the ball. And he just went out injured. So, uh... Good job defense after that one play. Pretty sure that was just a clipping call right there. But just in case they decline it, Alston gets us pretty much in field goal range immediately. Damn, Cal just must be like one of those cursed good teams. That would make for an interesting episode if I lose to FCS but beat Cal. <laughs> that, that would, uh... That'd be something. Oh my god, great running lanes. Alright, we're just gonna keep it on the ground, I think. Our quarterback's only completed two passes, so it's not like we're doing much better. Look at those blocks! Denman takes that up, another first down. And our, that guy did not block at all, but Gray scrambles in for a touchdown. That's going to be a two-possession lead, which means we start Super Sim in defense. All right, they're on a fourth and six right now, but the computer suggested that I play this one. And he almost made a one-handed catch. Instead, drops it. Uh, we get the ball back. Ooh, all right, terrible blocking right there. Our right guard pulled and just stood there. Beautiful Ward with the snag and the fumble. And I'm going to challenge it. Because they're not going to challenge it for me. I'm going to have to do it myself. I mean, his elbow was down. Like, that's... It. He's down, and now it's out. Nice snag by Matthews. I'll take my first time out. Oh my god, Smith beat his man. Run, hurry up. <sighs> okay, I guess we're just taking a field goal. Well, it's almost a two-touchdown lead now. Going into halftime with a surprising 13-0 lead over Cal. Uh, the quarterback ran backwards for five yards and then two incompletions. The defense shut him down. Oh my god, great snag, Harris. Alright, I thought this drive was about to die in a three and out, but... Luckily... Accurate pass again. N knock on wood. Alrighty, third and nine. Let's see. R1 wide open. Curry. Oh, not in for his third touchdown of the season, but right on the goal line. How did you blow the coverage that bad? And Brown in for the rushing touchdown. Alright, well. Good job, Cal. Alright, they finally got a score. Good for them. They needed it. Nice snag, Matthews. Nice to see the 53 overall tight end putting in work. Harris with a nice snag. Not quite picking up the first, but that's all right. Oh, okay. They crowded the line pretty well. Uh, this, this ain't a good team. I'm going to punt it here. I don't really have a good play. I... I gotta stay on brand. Oh my god, they played so far off of Harris. Picks up the first. That was a good play for me. That, like, I made, like, four reads on that. I'm proud of myself. Yes, I'm proud of myself for actually playing quarterback the way you're supposed to. Oh my god, BYU's getting blown out 34-7 by FCS. I don't feel so bad about our loss last week. All right, I did the thing the computer usually does, and I just do a garbage out on third and six. I didn't even pick up a yard. Ah, uh, this time I'll punt it. Fourth and six, and they're going for it. We actually got a sack on this one. 
So that was pretty nice. And he throws it at the ground. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I played that one play. We're going to be able to drain at least all of their timeouts. Probably a good minute off the clock and kick a field goal. I'd say it's over. Oh, that guy realized what was happening. Crap. I just saw a free first down right there. And he stopped himself. So we only drained two of their timeouts. But they still only got two minutes left. And uh, they're going to be down by 16. They took a 10-yard penalty. It's 4th and 20, and they got to go for it. And it falls incomplete. I don't know how. Uh, okay, this time, it's actually ball game. All right, so we lost to FCS and then handled Cal pretty well. The kicker took home player of the game. Well-deserved. All right, Gray goes 11-20, 156 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Denman at 56 yards on the ground, which for this dynasty is pretty good. Gray had 10 yards on the ground with a touchdown. Brown had 9 with a touchdown. Receiving Harris at 4 for 52. Denman 2 for 28. Matthews 2 for 21. And Curry got the 1 for 27, but no touchdown today. Nance led the team with 7 tackles. 3 TFLs for the defense. Fletcher with the only sack. Alston player of the game with 4 field goals made on 4 attempts and 2 extra points. Alright, well that'll wrap this one up. First game's in of the New Mexico State leg of the Relegation League, and uh, going better than I thought. It's going to be a long road. In between episodes, I'm going to clean up the recruiting board. I'm also going to take a look at the audibles and sort of mix around some stuff, because I just don't like not having a slants play out of an audible. If I can't find halfback dive, whatever, I'll live, but no slants play is just dumb. I've got no short passing plays in there. But... Next episode, we're going to get smashed because we play UMass and Kansas. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.